Hello everyone, um, thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to be answering a question for a user that asked me how to uh, uh, how to do the expression for option sets. Uh, we're going to explore whether or not these option sets have been changed since last time uh, we recorded the video. Uh, for reference, this is the video. Um, so there are a few questions and I would like to answer them. Hopefully this provides with all the answers. Uh, so the first one, it works only if I add the name to the drop down A. To be if I may rename if name and, uh, so here's what we're going to do we're going to create new option sets uh, so one is going to be uh, country and the other one would be state so country is the higher level of course uh, each country have their own um, their own states and there's nothing bigger than that unless uh, you want to call it by continent uh, but we're not going to do that and then state is the smaller level and then from state it goes to city so what we're going to do is this is a different project I don't know much about France so we're going to see uh, so they're core regions in France. So we're going to copy a few. So, oh, so before we get into that, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create new attributes. So this one will be country. Why? Because we want to interlink them. We want to know that this state belongs to this country. So country and create now first one is going to be normandy we can go um to the country and this is oops, france and then this is going to be united states and canada so for the first one on um, normandy the country is france um Sitani, I think I'm saying the right, hopefully. Uh, this one is going to be France as well. And Corsica. This is going to be France as well. As you guys seeing, I'm modifying the attributes to add the country in the drop down. So for this, we're going to add Texas. And this is in the United States. New York. This is in the United States as well. Florida. This is in the United States. Ottawa. This is in Canada. Uh, I don't know them all, so. Okay, Alberta and Ontario. So, Alberta, again, Canada, Ontario, um, Canada. Cool. So now we're going to go here. As just to recap, we created a country, which is in the hierarchy, is in the highest level, then lower is going to be state. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a group here. Uh, we're going to stand, uh, this is going to be a row, stand all the way down to the end. Um, and we're going to add two drop downs. And you can just paste, I'm going to be right here. So, this one to make it clear this is going to be the country 
is going to be the state drop down. So for the country drop down, relatively easy, dynamic choice. I'm going to select a country, all country uh, displays, and that's it. Now, for the state, it's a little bit different. Again, it's going to be dynamic choice. Um, it's going to be state. Now, source will be all state, but we want to filter them by the state country is uh, country top down value. And then current caption display. Let's test it, this out just to make sure and give you the right information. So the first state is going to be Canada. Should be Ottawa, Alberta, and I forgot the other one, and Ontario. Bam. Uh, United States should be Texas, New York, Florida. Boom. And then France should be Normandy, and the other two, Occitanie and Corsica. As you can see, it's being filtered by how we have. Um, filter in the before. So just to go back and I will put it in the screen for a little bit. So first one, country, the highest level in the hierarchy, then all country, current option display. That's the settings that you want to set. Now for the state, again, the type of choice will be state, all state filter. And then when you go to the filter, the constraint is going to be this state because again, uh, you're selecting state here and then country because that's the uh, attribute that we added to state. Uh, if you remember, we added the country there. So this country state, um, this state country, I apologize, is the country drop down value. And just for clarity, this is the country drop down. So basically, what we're saying, Bobble, is hey, I only want you to display here the options that are linked to the option that I select here. So, for example, I select United States here. On this one, it's going to be the three states that we selected the United States, Texas, New York, and Florida. If I select Canada, it's going to be Ottawa, Ontario, and no, I forgot the other one, Alberta, and so on and so forth. Hopefully that make a little bit more sense. Again, this is the filter. If you go, just take a screenshot of this. If you go to your setup, you set it up like this, of course, with your own um, option title, it should give you um, the results that you're expecting. If I miss the point, with the question, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment and I would be more than happy to revisit this. And if I'm not getting it, uh, we can uh, schedule a time where I can jump on a call, a complimentary call with you and we can go over uh, what you're trying to do and see if that's something I can help you with. Uh, and that, that's it for now. Uh, just leave a comment down below if, if it helped and if it didn't, just let me know as well so I can go back and double check. Thank you for watching.